What's good? It's Marty and I'm back with another video. If you've watched any of my previous videos, then you know that I am a part-time wedding cinematographer. And if you're anything like me, getting colors right when you shoot is an absolute must. Personally, I'm pretty obsessed with getting the proper colors out of camera. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about a simple app that I use almost all the time to get accurate colors in my footage. The app that I'm referring to is the Color Temp Meter app. It costs about two bucks and I have been using this app for several years now and it has given me results beyond belief. If you're not familiar with what color temperature is, in the short, simple concept, light is measured in Kelvin temperatures. It's a number that determines the degree of color that is coming from lights. And with that, in most SLR cameras, you can actually program this Kelvin number to match the temperature or the color of the lighting situation that you're in. Now this particular app that I've been using, I've been using it on an Android, and it has worked phenomenally for me for a long time. Now the reason I use an app like this is because I really like to get the colors right while I'm shooting. It just saves so much time in post-production. When I don't use an app like this, what happens is I get different color adjustments because I'm typically shooting in an auto white balance and I try to avoid shooting in auto white balance as often as possible. Now I've, I do understand there are some circumstances where you don't really have a choice if you're truly running and gunning and you just have to pick up the camera and just start shooting. Since sometimes auto white balance is all you have. And in that case, it's what you go for. But as you know, if you're familiar with shooting film on a DSLR, then you understand that auto white balance can be 50-50. It's hit or miss. Sometimes it's spot on and then sometimes it's off. And then sometimes it's just varying degrees between you know, a certain color that it actually captured right or it just drifts. And then when you look back at your footage, especially if it's a continuous uh, shot, you'll start to see color changes depending on which direction you turn your camera in. But when you use an app in order to measure an accurate color temperature, even if the lighting should change, it actually presents less of a problem in post-production when you actually start to edit and do color correction simply because you're not gonna get those varying degrees of color changes in your footage as you're editing, which can speed up any process for an editor. Now, I did have some old footage, but today I decided that I was gonna go out and just shoot some new footage and use this Color Temp app and show you some of the results that I received straight out of camera. The footage that I shot today is just basic footage, no tweaking in post-production. Now I did tweak the profile setting in my camera just to flatten the image just a little bit. But other than that, what you're looking at is footage right out of the camera. Now this app is incredibly easy to use and it yields some really good results. The technique in using this app is it's so simple. All you have to do is have a white sheet of paper or something that just has a non-reflective source that is white. You simply hold the paper up simply in front of the subject or objects or the area that you're going to be shooting in and you actually touch the analyze button on the app and what will happen is the app will begin to analyze the temperature of the lighting based on whatever scenario or situation that you're in. And within a few seconds, the app will demonstrate to you what that specific Kelvin number is. And just below that, it will also suggest to you the type of lighting situation that you're shooting under, which is quite helpful. Now, what I typically do when I'm using this app is I typically hit the analyze button maybe three, four, five times in a row just to make sure I'm getting an accurate reading as I'm checking for color temperature. Typically, as I hit the analyze button, I will see the number fluctuate just a little bit, but it stays relatively within the same zone each time I choose it. And it's just as simple as that. You get that number, that Kelvin number that I'm referring to, and then what you do is you go inside your camera, you look for your Kelvin settings within your white balance settings, and you simply just match the number that was analyzed on the app. It's as simple as that. 
So if you're looking for a way to speed up your editing process, an app like this can be very helpful where you don't spend as much time trying to match footage to footage just to get the colors correct if they should shift if you have used auto white balance. So there it is. It's an app that I use as often as I can. So you might want to give it a try. The app is only $2 in the store, so you really can't go wrong. Try it out. You might like it. Okay, that's it for me today in this video. If it helps you and it benefits you, then go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit the notifications button as well so you'll be notified as I upload videos. So thank you for watching. And until the next time, which is tomorrow, I'll see you then. Peace.